this will be our main event meaning to say we're going to solve now a quadratic equation by completing the square we have four steps on how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square number one standard form but the constant is on the right the next step is to complete the square the third step is to factor and the fourth step is to solve ngayon yung step number two and number three yun yung una nating ginawa kaya i hope na naintindihan niyo yung unang part ng video kasi kung hindi you need to go back kasi that will be part of the process in solving the quadratic equation in out na natin tong equation na to let's do the first step first step natin is standard form but the constant is on the right paano ba natin gagawin yung first step ganito lang yan dapat yung maiiwan dito ay naka descending order pa rin ibig sabihin yung degree ng term ay pababa and yung constant ay mapupunta sa right side therefore x squared minus 8x minus 20 and then plus 20 is equal to 20 ngayon yung ating constant ay nasa kanan na because we can cancel this out and it will become 0 ang ating bagong equation ay x squared minus 8x is equal to 20 ito yung standard form but the constant is on the right x squared minus 8x descending order pa rin so mukha siyang standard and then yung constant natin ay napunta sa kanan so we are done with our first step the second step is to complete the square to complete the square nung kaliwang part we have x squared minus 8x ano ang ia-add natin dito sa ating left side para maging perfect square trinomial siya kasi yun yung completing the square x squared minus 8x plus is equal to 20 ano yung number na kailangan nating i-fill in dito para maging perfect square trinomial first step how to complete the square I divide by 2 yung middle term so 8 divided by 2 is 4 and then 4 times 4 is 16 again divide the middle term by 2 and then the second step is to square 8 divided by 2 is 4 and then 4 squared is 16 so kaya natin nakuha yung 16 balik ulit tayo sa mga nauna pa nating video Nag-add tayo ng 16 sa kaliwa, so we need to also add 16 dun sa right side. Because what we do in the left, we should do it also in the right side. We are done with our second step. So first step, and then second step. The third step is to factor. Factor the left side. Alam nyo na rin dapat kung paano i-factor ang perfect square trinomial. Tinuruan ko na kayo ng technique. All you have to do is to get the square root of the constant. We have x. And then another here. And then ang sagot dyan ay 4. Kasi ang square root ng 16 ay 4. And paano malalaman kung positive or negative yung sign? is take a look at the middle term. Dahil minus yung middle term natin, so minus din yung ilalagay natin dyan. And we can still simplify this. We can put that, or we can write that as x minus 4 squared is equal to 36. So 20 plus 16 is 36. And we are done with our third step. So our fourth step is to solve. 
Actually, familiar itong ganitong itsura ng equation. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, we can solve this by extracting the square root. At yun yung eksaktong gagawin natin sa part na yan. I-rewrite lang natin yung x minus 4 and then squared is equal to 36. The farthest number from the variable should be removed first. Sana natatandaan nyo pa yun. And the farthest number here is not 36. So, but it's 2. So, para matanggal yung exponent, get the square root, do it to the left, do it to the right, and then get the square root of the other side. Cancel. We have x minus 4 equals 2. Don't forget to write positive negative 6. The variable is still not alone. Meron pa tayong negative 4. So we need to cancel that. So x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to positive negative 6 plus 4. I hope naintindahan nyo na ngayon kung bakit ako nag-add 4 sa right side. Cancel negative 4 plus 4 and x na lang yung matitira. x is equal to positive negative 6 plus 4. We can still simplify this part by getting the positive first and then later on we will get the negative part. We have 6 plus 4 for the positive 6. We have 10. So the first value is 10. The other one will be, let's take the negative, negative 6 plus 4. The answer will be negative 2. Therefore, if we solve this quadratic equation, our answer will be, x is equal to 10 or x is equal to negative 2. The next example is x squared plus 6x minus 17 equal to 0. This is the perfect example for this topic. Bakit? Kung babalikan nyo yung una kong example, actually pwede yung isolve by factoring. So itry nyo later na isolve by factoring at pareho lang nung magiging sagot dun sa ginawa natin kanina kahit sinolve natin by completing the square ibig sabihin kahit anong um, way or process ang gamitin nyo in solving quadratic equation basta tama yung ginawa ninyo pareho lang nang magiging sagot it could be by factoring or completing the square pareho lang nang magiging sagot ito ay perfect example dahil hindi ito solvable by factoring so, hindi siya pwedeng i-factor. Ito ay pwede nating solve by completing the square or by using the quadratic formula. But that will be our next topic. For now, we're going to do this by completing the square. So, first step, standard form, but the constant is on the right. Again, technically speaking, hindi po ito tama. But for the sake of the students who are watching, I hope ito yung the best na way para makatulong sa inyo. Again, first step, standard form, but the constant is on the right. So, naka standard form na siya, but itong constant must be on the right. So, how to do that? x squared plus 6x minus 17 plus 17 equal to 17. Do it to the left, do it to the right. Nag-add po ko ng 17 and then I also add 17 on the right. Cancel. We have x squared plus 6x equal to 17. We're done with the first step. Second step is to complete the square. x squared plus 6x plus equals to 17. How to complete the square? Divide the middle term by 2 and then square the answer. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Square the answer. 3 squared is 9. Therefore, the answer here is 9 and we need to also add 9 on the other side. 
That is our second step. Third step is to factor. Factor the left side. X plus 3 times X plus 3 equal to 26. So, ang technique, pag perfect square trinomial at ipa-factor, just get the square root of the last term or the constant and yun yung i-input nating number. The square root of 9 is 3. Bakit plus? Yung middle term ay plus. Simplify natin. X plus 3 squared or write it in other way. Equals to 26. We're done with the third step. The fourth step is to solve it specifically by extracting the square root. x plus 3 squared equals to 26. Get the square root of both sides. Cancel 2. x plus 3 is equal to... So here... Let's pause for a while. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung 26 is not a perfect square. So, paano natin siya isi-simplify? Hindi natin pwedeng ilagay yung decimal neto. Hindi tayo gagamit ng calcul. If we're going to solve this manually, and ito ay hindi perfect square, so we're just going to bring it down. Again, kung hindi perfect square yung number, just bring it down and don't forget to write still the positive negative square root of 26. So, ganyan po yung mangyayari. And we are not yet done because we still have 3. x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to positive negative square root of 26 minus 3. Cancel 3 minus 3. Alone na yung variable natin. X is equal to positive negative square root of 26 minus 3. Since hindi na natin kaya simplify yung positive negative square root of 26 minus 3, this will be our final answer. Or pwede rin namang i-rewrite nyo as square root of 26 minus 3 or x is equal to negative square root of 26 minus 3. Pwede rin namang ganyan.